Please welcome the one and only Shaq. Nice to see you. So, you are... Uh... <laughs> they, they didn't know you were here. This is a surprise to them. Oh, so, yeah, they had no idea. <laughs> this is like a... Uh, what is this here? This is my uh, Hall of Fame ring that I had made for myself. Yeah. Because, are they normally that big, or you had it made that big for you? You I like big it, things. Yes, I had it made this big for me. Yeah, it's like a coaster. I could actually try sit. it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we put a couple fingers through there. <laughs> um, wow, that's uh, that's a big ring. That's beautiful. You're you're a big guy, and you have a big ring, and you have a big house. Yes. Um, and your house is like really big, though. I would think you need high ceilings. But do you need it to be as large? As, can we show that? This is this is from Google Earth, probably. Uh, <laughs> all right, how many square feet is that? My house is seventy-six thousand square feet. Seventy-six thousand square feet. Yes. In Orlando, um, Florida. Yep. There it is. <laughs> all right. So, how long have you lived in that house? Since 1996. Oh, a long time. Yeah, a long time. So, did you build it? No, I bought it when it was 25,000 square feet. Then I had a 10-bedroom uh, guest house built. Then I had a full-court full, uh, full basketball court built. OK, so you just kept adding on. Yes, I just kept adding on. OK, so 76,000 square feet. How much of that do you use? Only two rooms. Two rooms. <laughs> two rooms. The kitchen, because I like to eat, and the bedroom, because I like to sleep. Right. That's it. What about a living room or a den or no, something like that? No, never, never go, never go to the theater, never go to the gym. Really? Yeah. But I mean, and how many bathrooms do you have? I think 15. Okay. <laughs> you know you're supposed to like flush the toilet and run the water once a week so it doesn't smell with the drains and everything. Do you know? I never knew that. Yep, yep. <laughs> Seriously? So that, yes, that part of the house is not gonna smell good when you ever go there. Yeah, you need to run water and flush toilets. I, I, I never knew that. I always think of that with people with big houses. It's like you you gotta you gotta use it all, or else it just is. Yeah, you gotta move out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta move out into just a place with a kitchen and a bedroom. You're right. Yeah, just go to a hotel or something. <laughs> no, seriously, I gotta flush all the toilets. And... Yeah. I, I never knew that. Your housekeeper should know that. Yeah, once a week you're supposed. I don't have to... a housekeeper. I clean my own house. Do you really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get player. Your housekeeper <laughs> should know that, though. Okay, yeah. You better ask that they're uh, doing I will, that. I will. Go check it. Um, all right. So you have um, how many kids? Six. Six kids. Yes. And you have rules for them. Yes. What are they? Well, my my uh, my most famous rule is: in order to touch any of my cheese, you have to present me two degrees. <laughs> you know what that means? No. I don't. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. <laughs> cheese means money. Money. So their father's very successful. So as a father, I'm not going to give them handouts. Right. They have to get a bachelor's and a master's. <laughs> and then I will... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So that, two degrees. Two, yeah, two degrees to get any of my cheese. Yes. So yes. they're not in the will unless they get two degrees. Exactly. Good for you. That's yep. really smart. That's the only rule? Well, uh, my sons can date when they're 18, and my daughters could date when they're 24. <laughs> That's not fair. Well, you're right, it's not fair, but my daughters are much smarter than my boys, and I want them to always be focused, and I want them to realize that, hey, you have to be happy within yourself. You don't really need anybody to make you happy. You have to be happy within yourself, and you can do your own thing. Yeah. Sure. So, what would happen, let's, let's just say, hypothetically, one of your daughters uh, at 18 or 19 meets a really great guy. I'm waiting for that. I know. So that's what I'm saying. So what happens? I'm going to torture him. In what way? 
Just, well, you know, first thing, first thing I have to let the guy know is all the little things that you think you're doing, I invented. <laughs> you, know, all the, you know, all the little, all the little slide moves, like you go into the movies and you start to do stuff like that. Uh -huh. I did all that stuff. Uh -huh. so I, I need to let him know that I know what he's thinking. Right. I just really, really torture him. Okay, well. Torture him bad. You've, okay, you've, you've made it clear no one's gonna date yes. your daughters. Yes. Um, <laughs> All right, so I understand, um, and I love stories like this because you you had an opportunity like to get in on Starbucks early, yes. right? Yes, it was my worst investment ever. So you guys know who Howard Schultz is? So Howard Schultz is the owner of Starbucks. So I meet with him, I wanna say 1993, and he says, Shaq, I wanna open up Starbucks in African-American communities. So me growing up, I never seen black people drink coffee. So I looked to the owner of Starbucks and said, it's not gonna work, black people don't drink coffee. <laughs> So now every time I go to Starbucks and see black people drinking coffee, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was my worst... Yeah, Where so did this worst... start? Yeah, that was... Wait, but... But you didn't do, do so bad on Google. What happened with Google? So one time, this was like in... in, in when, I, when, when I first got to L.A., I want to say like 93, 94. So I'm in uh, the Four Seasons Hotel, and I'm playing with somebody's kids, and they're in the meeting, so I'm playing with the kids at the next table. And you know, the guy, I'm actually babysitting the guy's kids while he's in the meeting. So after the meeting, he says, you know what, you're good with kids. I like you, I'm gonna bring you in on this investment. And it was called Google. He said, you know, in the future, you're gonna be able to type on your phone, search engine this, do this, boom, boom, boom. You should invest. I invested and then a couple years later, I got a really big return. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, really are you out return. of it now or are you still in it? No, I'm still in it. Good for you. Yeah, I'm still That's in amazing. It. Wow. See, you just play with kids sometimes and it pays off. I know, right? You never know whose ki who's parents it. All right, so tell us about the movie. It looks hilarious. And did, is that New Orleans? It looked like New Orleans. No, that was, we actually shot that in, in Atlanta. Oh. But before I talk, talk about the movie, I just want to let you know that I've come a long way since Kazam. <laughs> I've come a long way. So, I'm, I'm, I'm much better. Okay. <laughs> the movie is... <laughs> The movie is a fun movie. It has a lot of heart. You know, for those who don't know Uncle Drew, Uncle Drew is Kyrie Irving. That's his alter ego. He's an older gentleman, never made it to the NBA, but was always a great player. So Uncle Drew has four or five older teammates, myself, Reggie Miller, Nate Robinson, Lisa Leslie. And we just go around and, you know, we play against all these young guys. Reggie Miller's also in the cast, but it's a very fun movie. It opens June 29th, and I think it's going to be hilarious. All right, well, I trust you on that.